After months of promises and amid growing frustration from even some of his Democratic colleagues, House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richard Neal formally requested six years of Donald Trump's tax returns on Wednesday a move that will likely trigger one of the biggest political and legal showdowns of the president's first term. The request from the Massachusetts Democrat, which came in the form of a letter to IRS Commissioner Charles Rettig and was first reported by CNN's Lauren Fox, was long expected. Under a little-known, until recently, 1924 provision in the IRS Code, the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, which is charged with setting tax policy, is allowed to request anyone's tax return including the President of the United States as long as they can show that it is part of either an investigation or fulfilling Congress's oversight role. With Neil making good on his promise in the days following Democrats retaking the House in the 2018 midterms, the ball has been firmly smacked into Trump's court. Asked about Neil's move on Wednesday, Trump seemed disinclined to instruct the IRS and the broader Treasury Department to comply with the request. Now, we're under audit, despite what people said, Trump said. We're working that out as I'm always under audit it seems. But I've been under audit because the numbers are big and I guess when you have a name you're audited. But until such time as I'm not under audit I would not be inclined to do that. Dot, dot, that has long been Trump's stance that he is under a now lengthy audit and therefore can't turn over any past tax returns. Which isn't technically correct. There is nothing that bars Trump from turning over his returns while under audit. President Richard Nixon did exactly that in 1973. Trump, it's worth noting, is the first major party presidential candidate since Watergate to not release any tax information. He is also the first president since Nixon to refuse to do so. The IRS doesn't discuss ongoing audits so there's no real way of knowing, at least at the moment, whether Trump is actually under audit. Neil's letter to the IRS does ask for clarification on whether Trump has been under audit during the past six years, however. What Trump is saying when he cites his ongoing audit then is not that he can't release his taxes, but that he is unwilling to do so. He went into more detail on that point in a press conference held the day after the 2018 midterms. Said Trump, but when you're under audit, and I'm on a very continuous audit, because there are so many companies, and it is a very big company, far bigger than you would even understand. But it's of it's a great company dot dot but it's big and it's complex and it's probably feet high. It's a very complex instrument. And I think that people wouldn't understand it. So, he's not releasing his taxes because a, he's under audit, even though that isn't a real hurdle to releasing them, and b, because they are so complex no normal person would understand them. Which, well, re e e i dot he truth here is that Trump made a conscious decision in the course of his 2016 campaign that whatever was in his taxes debts, less net worth than he says, etc. Was more damaging to him if it came out than the negative press he would face for not releasing any returns. He previously said that if he ran for president he would absolutely release his returns 